Recently, everyone is talking about model context protocol that is MCP. So I decided to give it a try and build a small MCP server that can spin up Flutter project with just one request. Let me show you how it works. I'm using Visual Studio Code as a MCP client. Now let's open up the GitHub Copilot chat window using keyboard shortcut command shift I. And in the chat window, we need to switch to the Asian mode. And the first thing that we need to make sure that the MCP server is running or not. So for that purpose, let's open up the command palette using keyboard shortcut command shift P. And in the list, we have to select MCP list server. And this is the server that I've created Flutter CLI. Currently it's in the stop state. So let's select that server. And we here we are getting an option to start the server. So let's select that option. And as we can see, our server is now in running state, which has two tools. Now the fun part, let's create a Flutter project. Create a Flutter project shopping app for Android and iOS platforms. It has selected the tool from the MCP server. Let's click on continue. And as we can see, our shopping app Flutter project is ready for the Android and iOS platform and it's directly opened in Visual Studio Code. Now let's create an another Flutter project. So let's type in create Flutter project to do app. And if we don't specify any platform, then it create a Flutter project for all the supported platform. Let's hit enter. It has selected the tool from the server. Click on continue. And as we can see, to do app Flutter project is created for all the platform like Android, iOS, web, Windows, Linux and Mac OS. So this is how this MCP server works. And if you like the idea and wanted to give it a try on your local machine, then you can head over to this repo. I will also include the link for this repo in the description of this video. I have created this MCP server using C Sharp SDK for MCP. So because of that, you will need .NET SDK 9.0 or later installed on your machine. And make sure the flutter command is also available in your path. And once you clone this repo, build this project using the .NET build command. And after the build is successful, you can just copy this section, go to Visual Studio Code, open up settings using keyboard shortcut command comma, search for MCP. And over here, we need to go into the this option, model context protocol server configuration. Click on edit in setting JSON and under server section, we need to paste that part. Okay. From here also, you can start and stop the server. And once that is done, you are ready to use the MCP server locally. Only two things in this project, I have also added the support for windows, but I was not able to test it. So that may or may not work. And currently all the projects created by this MCP server are stored in home directory. So if I go to the home directory here, you can see the projects that we have created. So if you want to change the path, you can just modify that part in the code and run the server again. And that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. Hit like and subscribe for more awesome Flutter content. Until next time, keep coding, keep learning and I will see you in the next video. Happy coding.